In this video, you're going to learn how to create a really nice looking progress bar for your videos. And these are really popular for social media videos and video ads. So what we're going to do is first of all, just delete that progress bar and we'll go ahead and create it all from scratch. So I'm going to go over here and click on the shape layer and click on rectangle. And basically you want to, you know, create the shape that kind of, you know, same width of the video. So you can do that by simply click on fit to canvas and then just dragging it down like this. And then you could just use this icon to put it right to the bottom. If I just scroll in here a bit and yeah, kind of see it a bit closer. So you can see we've got our progress bar design and we could also go through and, you know, change the color. So let's say we want to make it a nice gradient. So I'm going to go and make it a blue and a green. And you can do this obviously to your own kind of preference, however you like it. Um, maybe something like that. It's a bit better. Cool. So now that I've got the design, I'm going to just uh, double click on here and type in progress bar, just so it's nice and neat. And I'm going to select the progress bar and I need to go ahead and choose where I want the, an uh, the bar to animate from. So we want it to start from here and go all the way to the end. So I'm going to click on the rotation point and click on left over here, left center. And now the bar will animate from here to here. So let's drop down the animation options and click on the plus icon to add a custom animation. And I'm going to click on the scale property. Okay, so we basically want to animate the scale. So all we need to do is uh, yeah, have the element selected and then go to scale and click on the lock icon and then just bring the X scale down to zero. Okay. So now I'll show you what this looks like. Cool. So we've got the animation now. So what we're going to do is basically adjust the duration and the easing. So if I right click on this an animation and go to easing and we want to make sure that it's linked to both and linear so that it just goes in one um, fluid motion. So there's no uh, like fast burst and then it goes slow and fast, but we want it to just go one separate speed. Okay. So linear does that and you want to make it on both in the in animation and the out animation. And then all you need to do is basically just drag this out to the duration of your video. And if I just go ahead and preview from the start, you can see that we've got a really nice uh, timeline progress bar that goes the exact time of the video, um, just like so. So yeah, if your video was longer, um, what you could do is, or if it's even shorter, for example, just make it a little bit shorter. Um, you could just go ahead and resize that progress bar and also the animation. And you probably want to go ahead and just zoom in a bit closer, make sure you've got the exact time and just make sure that that's right like so. And then if you, again, if you play that through, you'll be able to see that it ends at the exact same time um, as your video, like so, okay? And you probably, if your video was shorter, um, you want to make sure that you resize your other elements as well so that everything ends at the same point okay like this so that's just a, a quick way to do it um you can also create some uh, extra kind of fun animations this is just a little extra tip that you could do um so along with the progress bar maybe you could have your own logo or if you want you could go and grab an emoji so i'm going to go grab an emoji here and let's say we'll get this cool dude guy and i'll just bring him down here scale him down and place them, maybe place them about here also. And I'm just going to bring him out as well to the same length of the video. I'm going to go through and drop it down and, and click it, add custom animation. And this time I'm going to create a position animation. Okay. So I'll stick the position and the starting point is at zero and, and the position of the character is at zero. And now I want to go to the end of um, the animation and just basically um, bring him across to the end. So let's say um, 1,100 or maybe even less. Yeah, let's, maybe I'll bring them over like this, like so, okay. And then I want to go through, make sure that the easing is both and linear. And just again, just drag it out, make sure that it's at the exact same time as well as that. Um, and if we play this through, you can see you've got a nice looking little emo emoji going at the same time. Maybe I'll make him a little bit like smaller maybe and yeah like something like that for example it's a little bit cheeky and it kind of <laughs> catches people's attention but let's just play this through cool actually i need to um because he ends at 
we made him end it a little bit um a little bit further along it's a little bit off set so that we want to make make, make him finish the same point as the line so let's just put him about here and um bring this line up as well put him yeah about there looks good and let's just play that through one more time <laughs> it looks pretty cool so you can do that with your logo or like a fire icon or um yeah an image what, whatever you wanted to do you could you know just yeah basically add an image down there um even if you had a little short video clip you could probably do something like that as well so yeah hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, have fun yourself making progress bars inside Create Studio.